so good morning today also we we are going to discuss about uh, some of the complicated problems of dimensional analysis uh, in fact uses of dimensional analysis so we are given a problem that a wave is set up in a straight string by plucking it the velocity v of the wave depends upon tension capital f in the string its length small l and its mass small m making use of knowledge of dimensions or dimensional analysis prove that we are asked to prove that V directly proportional to square root of tension upon mass per unit length. in the square bracket so we are asked to prove this relation where the dependence is given that the velocity of the wave let us say velocity of the wave v is equals to this is the velocity of the wave It depends upon the tension capital F tension in the string its length small l it is also dependent on length of the string small l and small m is the mass of the string so we are asked to find velocity where the dependence is given so as per dimensional analysis what we are going to do is that first of all let us express this relationship between velocity force uh, tension length and mass of the string so it can be expressed as v directly proportional to f raised to a l raised to b m raised to c indirectly our job is to find this a b c So, we are asked to find this ABC, then we can able to express the relation velocity, tension, length and mass. Okay, so let us do that. So, for that we must know dimensions of these terms first of all. So, let me write the dimensions of these quantities here only. So, velocity meter per second that is L1 t raised to minus 1 tension that is force is nothing but what m1 l1 t raised to minus 2 length of the string l1 and mass of the string it is m1 so let's do that let us find a b and c so to find this let me express this equation in terms of constant of proportionality but this constant factor we cannot find with the help of dimensional analysis. Okay, so let us write this V is equals to K meter per second force 
that is length raise to b. mass raised to c velocity is l1 t raised to minus 1 equals to now let us simplify it so it will be We are going to multiply with this a inside the bracket that is with the powers let us simplify it. LHS will be remained as it is. P raised to minus twice A. P from both the sides above equation. Yeah, one more thing that we forgot to write that is we need to write V is equals to K F raised to A. L raised to B, M raised to C. I will number this as equation 1. So, first of all, compare the power of M. On comparing power of M, what we get? LHS, there is no M term. So, it is 0, power of M is 0 and the LHS and the RHS power of M is A plus C. Therefore, from this we can write A is equals to minus C. Second, we are going to compare power of L. On LHS power of L is 1. On RHS power of L is A plus B. Therefore, it is A plus B is equals to 1 and on comparing power of power of t on comparing power of t which is the power of t is minus 1 equals to minus is a. Therefore, on absorbing negative sign on both the sides, we get 1 is equals to twice a. Therefore, a is equals to 1 half. Putting 1 is equals to, let me number these equations. Let me number it as 2 or it as 3. So, on substituting Put in 3, what we get? Value of A is given, so it is half plus B as it is equals to 1. Therefore, B is equals to 1 minus half, that is half. So, B is equals to 1 half. 
here. Okay, so we got A, we got B. Let us find C. Put A is equals to half in 2. So, what we get C is equals to minus 1 half. Therefore, this is C. So, we got A, B, C. We can substitute it here in equation 1. Therefore, So, on substituting, put A is equals to half, B is equals to half and C is equals to minus half in 1. We get B is equals to K, F raised to half. L raised to B as given in the equation L raised to B and M raised to C. L raised to B and M raised to C. Writing into more simplified form, we get B is equals to power half means it is a square root. So it will be square root of F M raised to minus half. Therefore, that can be written to the denominator mass into L raised to half L in the denominator numerator. If we want to shift this L to the denominator with, without changing the value of this equation. How we can do that? That can be done by shifting this L to the denominator of denominator. So, on doing that, we get V is equals to K. f upon m by l. This term m by l, it is called as mass per unit length. This is mass per unit length. Okay. So, this equation can be written as, on absorbing this k, this equation can be written as v directly proportional to square root of f upon mass per unit length and here is the proof this is the proof ok so that's it Next example is the density of earth that is given. Density of earth is given. Rho density of the earth is given as 3g upon 4 pi rg. So, this is given where the terms have symbols have their usual meaning where rho is density g
v is equals to r radius of the earth g universal gravitational constant okay now we are going to express that we are asked to check the dimensional consistency of the relation it means that to check the dimensional consistency what we need to do we need to check the dimensions of LHS equals to dimensions of RHS. So, to do that, we need to write separate dimensions of these terms. So, let us do that. The dimensions of LHS that is density mass upon volume. So, it is m1 L raised to minus 3. Acceleration due to gravity meter per second square. So, this will be L1 t raised to minus 2 radius of the earth l raised to 1 universal gravitational constant universal gravitational constant it is g newton meter square per kg square so here newton will be kg meter per second square into this meter square upon kg square. So, this kg kg get cancelled. What will remain this kg will be shifting to the numerator will be kg raised to minus 1 meter cube t raised to second raised to minus 1. So, the dimensions of universal gravitational constant are m raised to minus 1 L raised to 3, L raised to 3, T raised to minus 2. Okay, so let us equate the dimensions. Dimensions of LHS. m1 l raised to minus 3 dimensions of rhs to do that this 3 4 5 constants so we are not going to take into consideration so only g rg will be taken into consideration for dimensions therefore it will be L1 t raised to minus 2 in the numerator, in the denominator R L1 G M raised to minus 1 L raised to 3 t raised to minus 2. So, simplifying this L1 L1 get cancelled t raised to minus 2 t raised to minus 2 get cancelled. What will remain is m raised to minus 1 shifting to the numerator it will be m raised to plus 1 l raised to 3 shifting to the numerator it will be l raised to minus 3. So, these are the dimensions of RHS. So, let me number this as 1 this as 2. Therefore, we will erase this. Okay, so from this, from 1 and 2, therefore, finally conclusion carries half mark. So, it is necessary to write that from 1 and 2, we can conclude that dimensions of
LHS equals to dimensions of RHS. Therefore, given physical equation rho is equals to 3G upon sorry it should be small g 3G upon 4 pi r into big G is dimensionally consistent okay so some of the examples which was asked in medical entrance examinations that we will do The dimensions of electric current are, first question it is given, dimensions of electric current I R as I told you in my earlier uh, classes that uh, in some of the books current is expressed in terms of charge, therefore current I is equals to I charge is notation which is used for showing the charge that is Q upon time T. Therefore, dimensions of current are Q1 T raised to minus. We are asked next question is to find dimensions of H that is Planck's constant. So Planck's constant has a dimensions similar to which physical quantity this was asked in the question. And options are given energy, angular momentum, momentum and power. So, let us do that. Planck's constant. SI unit of Planck's constant is or uh, Planck's constant that can be calculated as I will directly write the formula E is equals to H nu. This is the energy of photon. Any photon possesses this energy out of which this is Planck's constant as stated nu this is the frequency of photon. So, uh, how to find this uh, is energy. So, H can be calculated as dimensions of H can be calculated as energy upon frequency. Energy is expressed in joules and frequency is in hertz. But to find dimensions, we need to express them in terms of fundamental units. So, joule that is m1 l2 t raise to minus 2 hertz is nothing but what it is t raise to minus 1. So, on simplifying it will be m1 l2 t raise to minus 2 plus 1 that is m1 l2 t raise to minus 1. So, these are the dimensions of Planck's constant h. That simply can be calculated from 
its unit that is joules into second okay so these are the dimensions of planck's constant one more example we'll do and then we will stop doing that plenty of problems we have discussed based on dimensional analysis that are asked in uh, different medical as well as engineering competitive examination we are one more given this is new type of example that's why i'm taking it we are we are given that force is given f is equals to at plus bt square where this a force f is force t is time a and b constants okay f is equals to at plus bt square we are asked to find a and b okay if this equation is correct and we are given a correct equation so uh, addition of terms will be done in such a way that as if they are it is not just a uh, mag uh, magnitude it has uh, they are the it is the addition of physical quantities so the terms which is having same dimensions that only can be added meaning to say that suppose f is equals to 5 joule force which is oh sorry 5 newton force and which is the effect of two more forces okay so suppose on one rod on this rod force is applied from this side force is applied from this side so from both the sides forces are applied on this rod so let us say this force applied is 8 newton this force applied is 3 newton then combined effect will be 8 newton minus 3 newton that gives rise to 5 newton okay so newton newton this is these same terms force only will be added into force force cannot be we cannot add force into velocity or some other term so similarly the dimensions of similar quantities that only will be added and as if in the on the lhs force is given meaning that the dimensions of this term is same as that of the dimensions of this term as well as dimensions of this lhs force term that will be same as that of the dimensions of this whole term at square so let us find out the dimensions of a and b from this given clue okay so out of which dimensions of force are m1 l1 t raised to minus 2 these are the dimensions of force now the term at where out of which this t is the time term therefore it has dimensions a inside the bracket t raised to 1 which is equals to this term dimensions of lhs that is uh, m1 l1 t raised to minus 2 on simplifying we can get a is equals to m1 l1 t raised to minus 2 all divided by t raised to 1 on simplifying shift this t raised to 1 here so it will be it will be pl min plus 1 shifting to the numerator it will be it will become minus 1 therefore the dimensions of term a becomes m1 l1 t raised to minus 2 minus 1 so r m1 l1 t raised to minus 2 they are the dimensions of force sorry a term a m1 l1 t raised to minus 3 
m1 l1 t raised to minus 3. Now let us find the dimensions of this term b. Therefore, on equating their dimensions, b t square is equal to dimensions of force that is m1 l1 t raised to minus 2. Simplifying this, t raised to 2 will be time raised to 2. Therefore, it will be b t raised to 2 equals to m1 l1 t raised to minus 2. Therefore, b equals to m1 l1 t raised to minus 2 whole divided by t raised to 2. Therefore, it will be m1 l1 t raised to minus 2 minus 2. This 2 shifting to the numerator, it will become plus 2 becomes minus 2. Therefore, it will be the dimensions of B are M1 L1 T raised to minus 4. M1 L1 T raised to minus 4. So, the dimensions of constants A and B are M1 L1 T raised to minus 3 and B are m1 l1 t raised to minus 4. So, these are the dimensions of a, b and c. a, b, a and b. So, that is all for the dimensional analysis and their examples. If you wish me to calculate, find some more examples or uh, um, solve some more examples based on dimensional analysis, I can do that. Please write in the comment box. Thank you.